Hello everybody, um, I need to make some more embossing paste and this is a little tub that I'm using, unused for its original purpose I might add <laughs> and when you know you know. Um, and to make this embossing paste I'm going to use some white acrylic paint, some powder, baby powder and some PVA glue. You can use whatever colour paint that you want. Um, you can put glitter or whatever else you want in it. And it, I just sort of like do it by eye really. So I'll put a big squirt in the bottom of there. I mean as you can see it's not a massive tub. And PVA glue. This is it's just kids school glue. and mix up that in so I've done about mm, it's about half full so I'm going to mix it and goes together first And then I'm going to add my baby powder. A little bit at a time. You end up smelling lovely. And just mix it in. And keep going until you get the consistency that you want. And it really is as simple as that. I don't make a massive pot of it simply because it's just so easy to make. That you can just make some more when you want it. What I made of this was probably about six or eight months ago because it's in an airtight container it obviously lasts. Watch me get covered in it. And as you keep using it, you can either keep adding some more of each of the, of the powder or the glue. Sometimes you do tend to find it goes a little bit too thick, which my last lot had, had done. So it still needs to be a bit thicker than that because you think you're putting it through a stencil. It needs to be hold its shape and not run back into itself. I'm making that mess of this. That's better. I think I got this glue from either Lidl's or, or Boy's. Um, these paints I got from 
um, just off Amazon. Um, Hello everybody, it's B from Bespoke Crafts and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making an anniversary card um, for one of my lovely customers um, and I'm going to be making a card, I can't remember the name of it, to be gone, honest it's gone. Anyway, so I've got an A4 sheet of paper and I'm cutting it into, it's just over five and a half by five and a half. And now I'm going to open it, the card up, and as you can see, folding the edge over in a diagonal. And it's the, the card's quite thick, so you know it's a it's a good weight on it, so it's it's quite difficult to to make sure that it's level and even. So I'm going to fold it over and burnish that down. And just make sure that it sits right. I'm going to be using the Crafter's Companion large number dies again. Um, that, I do like these dies, they are really, really good. Um, and they've been in my cupboard for, I must have had them for hmm, maybe seven years. Um, some of them, I'm only just opening. But don't. Now I want to make sure that the um, numbers when I've got them together sit correctly on the card because you have to remember that the card wants to be closing and fitting on your envelope without any of it, any of the numbers popping out the edges. So <clears throat> I'm just positioning them and make sure that the card will close properly. And I'm doing another burnish down. And then I'm going to um, stick the numbers together once I've got them in the right position. I've decided that I'm going to use the 3D embossing folder and it's a Civic 64999 by Georgie Evans and it's it's a, it's a honeycomb so I'm going to emboss both of these and I've just slightly misted both sides of the cardstock and you need to remember there's two pieces of cardstock on these and I'm going to put it through my inner cake intro cup which yeah, it is a brilliant little machine um, you only need the plates that it comes for, with um, I have upgraded and I've got the magnetic plate at the bottom 
but all in all you just need three plates for it and it does everything you just turn the dials um, on the machine itself so that you can um, 3d emboss just emboss or cut on it it's, it's good so now I'm using these um, gummy pan dies of the um, bumblebees I've cut them all all the sizes out but I haven't used all the sizes um, I'm just using the two smaller ones um, so I've skipped through that um, and cut that out and at the moment I'm just using I'm using vellum because I want to do the wings in vellum Now I'm going to do some dry embossing using this stencil. Um, I don't really do not dry, dry embossing, so this is the first time really I've had a, I've had a go on it to be honest. Um, and this one I'm using it on. Um, I'm using my big shot for this. So instead of using a normal emboss two normal embossing plates you uh, at normal plates you use the embossing rubber embossing mat and the effect is really good so now i'm just having a quick tidy up and i'm going to just glue that as it is down to the base of the card Again, making sure that everything closes right for the envelope and now sticking the numbers onto the card. I've decided as well now that I'm going to use some of these um, Tim Holtz butterflies. I've put the numbers um, in the description and some links for you um, if they're still available. Um, I'm using a couple of them and I think I'm only using the small ones. Yeah, which is the little green one that's on the right hand side in the pack. These are so delicate and so um, they've got such good detail on them. So I'm going to do um, two of these. I'm going to use one of them as a stopper on the card. Stop the flap coming um, from slipping down which you'll see in a minute. I'm just using the book binding glue to stick them together with my reverse tweezers. The reverse tweezers are brilliant. I've got about five pairs of them, I think. Put everything back in its package so I don't lose it. Then we're just looking at placement where I'm going to put the two bumblebees. Reverse tweezers again just to hold them in place. I didn't want to make a really fussy um, card. I wanted it still to be quite elegant, which I think this is. I think the embellishments that you put on, such as the bumblebees and the... the um, 
the butterflies. They are, um, they are really sweet. In fact, I've used both of them. I've used the small and the medium sized butterflies on the, on the card. So now I'm just going to put some gold embellish, embe embellishments on. Um, I think I got these from either Simon Says Stamps on the sale or um, Spellbind, because I can't remember which. But I, I just don't like sequins, you know, with the holes in them, the normal sequins that you get. I don't like them. If I've ever got any, I generally use them for inside shaker cards. I think these look a lot nicer when they, they haven't got the hole in. Looking for a placement. I'll put an odd number on so there'll be five on there. I'm going to zoom through this bit um, and then... I'm going to be putting five as well, I think, on the inside of the card um, where you will see it open. I'll zoom through that bit as well. So there's the finished card. Um, I'd like to thank everybody part for watching if you stayed this far then um, thank you very much um thank you everybody for subscribing um i looked early i was 121 i can't thank you enough i really really do appreciate it if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed um please consider doing so it does help my channel um and it's free so there's my card for today and i'll see you next time thank you all very much Bye for now. Bye.